This is your one-stop shop to using the best Town Hall 13 attack strategy in 2023, the Super Archer Blimp Lalo, in a fully accurate and detailed guide. Now, last time, we went over the Zap Witches at Town Hall 12, that being a super easy strategy. This time, we're going over probably one of the most insane attacks because it uses no spells for the Lava Loon portion and can get huge value at the beginning of the attack alongside the heroes. So let's start with your key objectives with this strategy. Since this attack is the Super Archer Blimp Lalo, the Super Archer Blimp is first. Typically, you are always trying to go in towards the town hall, and this is especially true if it's in the core of the base. We'll talk more about base reading later, but it's really important to remove the town hall. Typically, the Super Archer Blimp works like this. Once you send the blimp in with a Lava Hound or the Grand Warden with a couple balloons, you'll then be able to use a invisibility spell. You will then deploy the two clones after you see the Super Archers firing. That way you prevent yourself from cloning any wall breakers or any other filler troops. That also allows you to then drop in the rage spell and then time the invisibility spells every four seconds. This is going to help you more often than not get a lot of great value with the Super Archers. Now, another option that you have is the Super Archers plus at least one or two Super Wizards, however many you can bring, and that will allow you to get a lot more value against more chainable structures, where it can just really soften them up and it really makes it a lot easier for your heroes to deal with since you have no spells. The next phase is the hero dive, and this is very similar to the Blizzard Lalo, but in terms of this, you should always use the hero dive to go in for the enemy hero, whether this is the enemy Archer Queen or the enemy Royal Champion. One of the two is going to be a lot better. It really depends on how many defenses you can more easily get access to. Re more than realistically, the Hero Dive is just to expand on the value from that you got from the Super Archer Blimp. You can use the Royal Champion with it, but you might as well just save the RC to go in with the Lava Loon portion, which is why I highly recommend getting a lot of value from the heroes by also bringing in an Ice Golem to help out. But mainly, just try to deal with the enemy clan castle if you lure it out, and also the enemy hero, whether that is the RC or the Queen. Last but not least, it's your Lava Loon. And realistically, the Lava Loon can be pretty much in any position. Most of the time though, you wanna try and go in towards the air defense. Try to make sure that you're also getting other defenses leading up to that air defense. It's gonna help you and it's gonna get you more value, especially because you have no spells with this Lava Loon. It means that you have to prioritize other defenses, especially things like multi infernos, scatter shots, expos, and wizard towers before you actually get to the air defenses. Just keep in mind with how air defenses are placed and where, and how many you remove with both the Super Archer Blimp and the heroes. This is going to help you determine on whether or not it's better to bring three Lava Hounds or bring in, of course, the use of an Ice Hound if you want to provide a little bit extra support for your Lava Loon portion. The Royal Champion will move in with your Lalo and the Grand Warden to get a lot of great value. So it means you do also have something other than Headhunters to help deal with the other enemy hero, whether that's the RC or Queen, if you leave her up or if she wasn't taken down by the Super Archer Blimp. So of course, like anything else, here are the army compositions alongside the recommended CC. This does include the Super Wizard, Super Archer combination. But now let's go through the base reading and how to get the most value out of the base. So the Super Archer Blimp gets a lot of value against ring style bases. This is very much evident against things such as island bases, which aren't necessarily designed as a ring base, but tend to get so much value. Typically, you just want easy movement for your hero dive, so the Lava Loom pathing is way more predictable considering you're getting a lot of value from the Super Archer Blimp and from the heroes to create some really simple pathing. Speaking of island bases, let's start with the ring base. On this base in particular, the Super Archer Blimp is really good for the core as you can more than easily remove that. 
Using the Battle Blimp parallel to the Town Hall, it allows you to remove a good chunk of the core alongside some of the other compartments, such as the Air Defense and the Scatter Compartment to the right of the base, and it allows you to get some other great value up just above that Super Archer Blimp. Now, the top area of the base is great for the hero dive, and there's so much easy movement that the king and queen alongside the ice golem can get a lot of great value. Then the lava moon, and moving up from the single inferno all the way up to the air defense is what this attacker is able to do. Moving up there, it allows him to take more advantage of the Royal Champion and the Grand Warden alongside the Lava Loon, considering you don't have any spells. I don't know how much I can say this. Now, a diamond type base is a little bit different. This is aimed to get right where the CC is and get pretty much the entire core and that bot most of that bottom most section out of the way. That is a great spot to actually use the Super Archer Blimp with the Super Wizards, as there is a massive amount of chain that you can remove. From there, your Hero Dive can really go in anywhere, but more specifically towards the bottom of the base where there are still some enemy heroes, more specifically in this case, the enemy Archer Queen. From there though, the Lava Loon can practically go anywhere, and you could really attack the Lava Loon directly towards the air defense, considering the bottommost section of the base is super easy to remove with the, just the Lala. So, you have all the information in terms of how to actually use this. Now let's get into a live attack against an anti-three-star base live. We're gonna start off with the use of an archer down here. And what we're then going to do is use a Lava Hound with the Battle Blimp to go right over the Eagle Artillery since it can still take damage even under in an invisibility. So we'll then go ahead and do that. It's not looking too bad. Let's use another invisibility. Let's use a clone. Then the, then the archers. Let's see. Okay. They took some damage, but it's fine. We're just going to use these every four seconds. We're going to get some really good value from them. Let's see, as long as we can remove the Inferno there, that would be really nice, and they do. They do remove the Scatter as well. Do they get a little bit more value? Ooh, they're going to remove the enemy Clan Castle more, more than likely. That's going to be nice. There we go. Got some good amount of value, so I'm going to use two Balloons. Baby Dragon right here. Ice Golem with the Barbarian King. So that's not looking too bad use an archer queen as well there we go so that creates part of our funnel let's use one two uh, of the sneaky goblins over there let's deploy two headhunters to help deal with the enemy royal champion they should be able to also probably take down the enemy archer queen right there there we go queen goes down let's use another ice golem and this is not looking too bad here let's use two of them right there king goes in queen should be able to move her way in let's use two more balloons to kind of get that queen to go right back in i'm gonna use the rc over here on the mortar let's use our king ability he's gonna get some really nice value there and they'll move back around to deal with the skeletons queen's gonna go ahead and deal with the town hall that's not looking too too bad once that town hall goes down let's use our rc ability queen ability Use our Lava Hound. Let's go ahead and run a couple groups of balloons. Not looking too bad. Let's use an let's use another hound. We can touch it. There we go. And things are looking good. Everything's moving in quite nicely. We have enough balloons to kind of still move through. We don't need to use a warden ability just yet. Use a, a bit more cleanup. As we get closer over here to the scatter, let's use a haste right here. And let's go ahead and use our Grand Warren ability. That's looking really good. Use a headhunter to help deal with the enemy king. But this is looking like this is going to be a three star. That is all we had to do. Realistically, it is going to be a little bit crunched for time. But with we have so much cleanup we'll be able to get this done. Now, with the Super Archer Blimp Lalo, there is a lot that could go wrong in an attack. If there's an Electro Titan CC, 
and unfortunately it gets lured over, sadly, your super archers are going to die. So you have to keep in mind about that type of clan castle. It's extremely weak to it. Outside of that, if the town hall is not in the core or not in a good spot and it's more offset, just use a super archer blimp somewhere else. It is more often than not going to get you less value if you go for the town hall there than just using the super archer blimp in a different location to get a lot more value. Your heroes can take care of the town hall later, just like what I did in my live attack. One or two clones. Typically, it really depends. I think one clone is actually way more consistent if you're not going into the town hall. But if you're going into the town hall, use two clones. You're going to get a lot more value that way, and it's just going to be a little bit better for you. Now, that's everything you need to know about the Super Archer Blimp Lalo here at Town Hall 13. What do you think about the strategy? And of course, what would you like to see me cover next here in this series?